So last night, Honey's udder looked bigger than normal and I thought maybe this is the pop. So I put her in the stall last night, kept a watch on her and she seemed to be in sort of a light labor all night long. And then this morning we went out and here she was in active labor, labor pushing a kid out. Set it up right here, just straight on. Big baby. Yes, let's see what it is. It's a dolly. Good. It's a dolly. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Oh. Are you okay? Let's get some of that out. It's right there, right there. Right there in the thing, in the basket. Right there, you'll see oh. it. You'll see it. Good job. Lick. Oh my gosh. She went right back to eating. Here, stand still. Here, I've got her. Here, let me pull her over here. Okay, let's see. Stand still. Come on, come on. Come on. Stop it. Oh my gosh, Kevin, she's trying to bite her. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Come on. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, okay. You guys, I don't think Honey's gonna take the stoling. I swear, Honey. She's so cute, oh, Kevin. She's so big and strong. <laughs> she's just walking really well. Oh, what a good girl. Come on. No, she doesn't look like she, she's... Oh, oh, don't. She doesn't look like she's taking her. Well, guys. It doesn't look like she's very interested in this doling. You know, I love the Tilly line, but they can be really selective about which kid they're gonna take. And um, sometimes Tilly was a great mom, and then sometimes she just rejected the kids. At first she just seemed not interested, not like she was hard rejecting it, but now she's like, she's completely not interested. She's trying to hurt it. You are a silly girl. I still love you though, okay? <laughs> okay. I usually just do like a tablespoon or two. It's really good. It has a lot of B vitamins in it and provides some energy too. Some sugars. Look at that. Yum, huh? Yeah. That's good. Good job. It's important for goats to have an attentive mama because <coughs> she's a loud one. Because it's important for them to get licked to stimulate them going to the bathroom and also uh, just to get fed enough times. So it makes us nervous to leave her out here with honey. I'm gonna call her Tilly. Honey, <laughs> because we've gone through this before with Tilly. Um, because yeah, I know the second we bring her in, She'll for sure never take her back, but what other option do you have, you know? She is a cute one though, look at that. You're cute and really loud. So I would call her a gold chamise. So this tells me that Honey is not carrying the black chromosome from oh. Finnick. She took the chamise. So we were correct about Honey being in buckskin chamise, carrying chamise, because she passed that on. And then Lancelot passed on his cute little light gold. So she's definitely, this is gonna, this looks really, you know, tan or almost grayish, but it's gonna turn light and we call that a gold. You're cute, show her face. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, Kevin brought the little doling inside. 
to clean her off and get her dry. And then I'm gonna milk honey, whatever colostrum she has right now. We'll bring it in and we'll start bottle feeding. It's actually not too bad because I was gonna do my hybrid method anyway. I was already going to introduce a bottle. It's just sometimes nice to have the mama take care of them in the first few days or at least the first week. That's so nice. Some moms are really good. They take care of their babies for the full eight weeks and some moms will just do one week. Some moms won't do it all. And it's not necessarily usually genetic, but it just depends. Sometimes, sometimes they are good. Sometimes they aren't. Little udder. You're not gonna feed that baby. We gotta get all that milk out. I know. Colostrum. All right, we've got Winona that we brought in here because her and Honey are good friends. And she's got hay and she's been cleaned up and she's been milked out, so that's as much as we can do right now. Winona will be your kid for the day since you're not liking yours. I know. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Your mom's being a little weird. Okay, Kevin did a little setup here where we've got a <laughs> Luna doll and a heating pad set on low, it's not too hot, and then a little puppy pad. You sure are cute. Oh my gosh, can you believe we got a doling? I can't believe that. I tried to act neutral when I did the TikTok because I didn't want people to <laughs> think that I was happy, but I'm so happy. Oh You're so pretty. God. You're a pretty girl, huh? Oh She's got a really pretty face. Yeah. I love her little four black legs. That's so cute. Oh. You're cute. So now you guys have to decide on a name. We have those 15 names, I'll put them right here, that we all decided on. And then we're gonna let you guys vote on which one of these names best suits this little girl. She's so cute. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the most popular name in the comments will be the one that wins. Make a decision. I'm not gonna sway you anyway. I like all of them, so. <laughs> You're so cute. Should we meet the doggies? You're so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a big doggy. Salem just loves baby goats. Like she'll just lick them. You're a good baby goat mama, aren't you? She helps them go to the bathroom. Yeah, she does. We're gonna have to do that, so. Do you love them? Yeah, she's really sweet. She just licks them and licks them. This is her third year with kids, so she's a pro. Okay, that's enough, good job. Okay, I'm gonna end this video now so that I can get it up as soon as possible for you guys to see the birth. And we're just gonna Take care of this little one. I'm excited to see what names you guys choose, which name you guys choose. And I can't believe we got a doling. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. Girls rule and boys rule. Mm, she's sweet. Oh my goodness, look at that. She's gonna be feisty, watch. Oh, that's cute. Just laying by each other. Cute, cute. Oh guys, I almost forgot. So Prim, remember Prim, we sold her to a new farm back in October, I think it was, and she delivered her kids. So the new family that owns her, they have a YouTube channel. I'll link to it right here. And here's the color predictions that we thought she would have. So go ahead and head over there if you wanna watch and um, 
see what she ended up having.